Hi, this is Pradeep. In my interview series, let's take one another interview question. So <clears throat> the question is, explain what is posting with clearing and account clearing. Okay, so maybe you can say this is related to customer or related to vendor because same concept is applicable both in customer and vendor. So I'm going to take the example of customer in this scenario. Another scenario we will take for the vendor. So to understand this one in a better way, let me post two uh, different invoice uh, with, of course, I, I will post with FB70, but it, maybe you can try with uh, SD also. That means through uh, sales order, you can try. We should have to open items so that we can proceed with the clearing. So I'm going to post two customer invoice. So I'm posting one customer invoice and let's take this amount is 3000 that is debit amount and the revenue account we will take here for credit let's take this one So customer master is updated with payment term. So that's why I need to rem remove it for the easy understanding of this process. Okay, so let me post one more invoice, two different invoice we will take. This one, let's take yesterday date. So this is my credit account. Here I configured profit center with business area derivation. So that's why I need to enter business area. Otherwise I will get the error that cost object is missing. Okay, so two invoice posted and now I'm going to check two line items. So to two invoice, you can see 3000 by chance, both are uh, posted with 3000. I thought like I will take 2000 anyway. So we have a debit uh, amount or receivable amount is 6000 is there. So customer invoice here, it is debited with 6000. Now let's try to understand this one. So if we'll try to understand this one from the accounting point of view, Okay, so we have a, this is our customer account, suppose. This is our customer account. And in this customer account, we have debit entries. So 3000.
3000 and one more 3000. Something wrong with. So this is our customer account. So in customer account, we have two debit entries are there, 3000 and 3000. Now here debit item or receivable item is 6000. And now assume that we have received one check, incoming check. Okay, so this is incoming check and in this incoming check, that means bank is going to debit. So it is 6000. Something wrong with my marker maybe. So 6000 will be debit and credit will be your customer. So that means we are going to process one line entry here for the credit purpose. So 6,000 will be, this is your customer account. This is your customer. And uh, this one is your incoming check. This is your bank account. Okay, so bank is going to debit and customer is going to credit. So we have two open invoices are there, 3,000 each, and we are going to receive one check from customer and the same we are going to process it. So after process, let's see the impact. Okay, so just to ignore this, uh, uh, this uh, marker issue. Okay, so here uh, you can see two open items are there and we are going to clear this one. We are going to process this one with F dash. Uh, we are going to process it with F dash 04 because we need to process the clearing, both the clear item we are going to process. So we will process with F dash 04. So bank is going to debit. Your clearing amount is 6,000. Your credit will be customer. Customer is going to credit. And we know the posting key for customer credit is 15. Select your customer. Right, the document posted. Now check the status of your customer line entry. First, let's see the collection or the receipt amount. So it's added, that means this entry posted. So we have received the funds and it's still, it is there in the open item because it is pending till the time we will reconcile this one through EBS. And now check the customer two line entries. Now customer balance is zero because two debit entries are there and one credit entry or the funds received, it is posted. So two debit entries and one credit entry, it is posted. Now we need to clear because right now, if we will leave it like this, then you can say uh, functionally there is no issue because whatever receivable item already received so there is no due item from the customer but always in when we will run the open line item you will find these open line entries will be there okay for example let's say i want to see the customer related open items so one entry i posted that is Clearing, that means we posted the clearing document, 6,000 we posted. And now uh, after clearing that, I'm going to check the status of this customer. So I will take the list of customer open item. Due date and list is not required. We will take customer open items.
So if I will execute this open item report, you can see this, all these open items are there. So zero balance, but open items are there. Now this will be unnecessary. Like you can see open items are there and which will be there always in your report. Although technically there is all functionally, there is no balance due already. We have received the funds, but still always this open items there. So that's why we need to clear these open items. And for that purpose, we have one is we posted the clearing document. So I posted the clearing document with F-04. Now I'm going to process the clearing or I'm going to clear the open items through the transaction code F-32. Sorry, my system is little taking time. So we will select your account that is our customer account. Okay, so question was the difference between explain posting with clearing. What was the question? Posting with clearing. Posting with clearing and account clearing. So now we are, we posted the clearing document and now we are going to clear the account. clear it so balance is zero if you have some open other open items so let's say a collection not receipt for those items maybe you can deactivate while clearing it now check you won't get any open item here in the open item report So all items are cleared items. Same you can check here also. Some old items are coming, let me take Right, so all are converted into cleared items. So there is no open item in the list. So this is all about your account posting with clearing or posting with clearing or account clearing. So it is a very uh, small question or you can say small area, but if you are not familiar, it will it may create a problem for you. Let's take another question. Next question is the replacement of F-29 in the cloud, in s cloud. That means we know the special GL transactions related to customer advance, which is your F-29 when we are processing the request item that is customer down payment, which is also your noted item that we know in on-premises we have F-29 is there. Now question is what is its replacement or what is the application with the app which is there in your cloud, s for ana cloud. That means in Fury, which app we are going to use this one. So let me show you that. So I'm going to use that application and I will post one accounting entry and then we will see that same in the FBL 5 pen report also. So we need to log into Fury. So this is the Fury. And in this Fury we have, you can remember this particular application. This application is manage. customer down payment 
manage customer down payment request. And for this, make sure that special jail transaction configuration should be there. Okay, so one company code is coming. Let me post the document on this date. Let's take the date is second. So it is April to March I'm using, so it is four. Then select customer. Amount, let's say 3,200, that is your customer advance amount. Specify the date. and post it. Right, the document post it. So this is your special GL item or noted item that this one we will check in a BL5N. It is a BL5N, but company code is different one. I just posted whatever the company code was there in the Fury. Okay, and uh, I will select the date. Okay, so no document is there. So that means it's not posted. It's posted, but I need to select the noted item because special jail transaction is your noted item, right? So this one is there. So we can use this application for customer down payment requests. So I hope you like this uh, two questions and uh, in interview, if you get this type of questions, it will help you. And also you can uh, post in the comments if you are facing any issue, any interview question. So I will try to prepare video on that. Thank you very much for watching this video. So tomorrow I will take some more questions on this interview series. Thank you.